Dude, this drawing is freaking amazing. I don't think I could ever do anything like this. About two months ago, I made a video where you guys, the community, sent me your elite skin ideas, and that video did really good. So I'm bringing it back for a second episode here today. You guys sent me some really creative ideas again for this episode, and I can't thank you guys enough for submitting your ideas and sending in artwork that you guys took the time to send to me. If you want to send an idea of your own, feel free to comment down below, or you can send me an Instagram message where you can include your artwork that you made. If you do draw something up, you're pretty much guaranteed to make it in a video. Stick around to the end of the video because I have a couple of Leetskin ideas that I want to share with you guys as well. With the intro out of the way, let's get right into the ideas. Our first submission comes from Will Hall, and it is. I know he's new, but in his bio, it said Ace is arrogant and has a degree in medical. So I think it would be cool as a Doctor Strange from Marvel, and his animation could be him doing surgery and then pulling a gun out and shooting someone at the camera. So this is a fantastic idea. I love Ace, uh, the operator Rainbow Six Siege, and I also love Marvel with Doctor Strange. So this is a good collaboration. Uh, hopefully one day Rainbow Six Siege and Ubisoft can uh, link up with Marvel and like get some really cool ideas together because there are so many operators in Siege that could have amazing Marvel Elite skins or just any Marvel skins in general. So this is a really fantastic idea. Thank you so much. Let's move on to the next one. The next submission comes from Daniel Tube and it is Doc Santa skin. And his stim pistol looks like a gift as he gift heals. And then if you hit read more, it says to himself. Because we all know a doc doesn't heal his teammates. He only heals himself after he gets a very aggressive spawn beak. So I do like this because I think Blackbeard Santa skin needs some good competition. And since doc is a uh, thick boy, um, <laughs> we can add him as a Santa skin. Personally, I think Cade pro could probably pull off a Santa skin the most. I think uh, Cade a Santa skin was actually in the last video. Let's move on to the next one. So this next submission comes from my fiance. That's right. My in real life fiance her name is jess and she submitted a naked buck she would like to see a naked buck elite skin yeah um my fiance would love to see a naked buck um <laughs> next submission comes from canon vegan i'm sorry if i put your name but it is what about a pulse elite skin that turns himself into a terminator with half a metal face one red eye glowing through the glasses that's a really cool idea and have the outfit from the movie and he says he's not a good artist, but he did draw up this Pulse uh, Terminator skin. It's better than anything I could ever do. Trust me, I, I, I would literally do a stick figure. So to me, this is a really good drawing. Um, I like this idea a lot. A Terminator Pulse skin would be really, really cool. I really like the idea where you set a half metal face and the glowing eyes through, the, um, through his sunglasses. Super cool idea. Thank you so much. Let's move on to the next one. Next comment comes from Martin Coltscar, and it is, wait a minute. Bandit Elite looks like the Senator changed my mind. <laughs> I'm actually really good buddies with a Senator and we've actually spoken on multiple occasions that if we were to ever go to like an event like the Invitational or anything and we were to go as a uh, cosplaying, he would 100% be a Bandit and Elite and then I'd have to pick some other operator to cosplay. I don't know. What do you guys think that I would look like? If I were to be an operator in the game, who would I look like? Don't say Oryx or Gridlock, please. Don't say Oryx or Gridlock. Next submission comes from Jackson Hunter and he said, okay, how about an Ash Elite that looks like a female Flash? Her MVP screen would be her running around the screen, then stopping in from a MVP spot and crossing her arms as dust catches up to her. I think this is such a fantastic idea because you, I mean, what other operator in Siege can run as fast as Ash? I don't care if everyone's at three speed. I, for some reason, I feel like Ash is like two times quicker than everyone else. So this would be a really good crossover with uh, the Flash because I think it suits her play style. I like the part where you said he runs around and then the dust catches up to her as she's crossing her arms. Fantastic idea. Thank you very much. Next submission comes from Maxi Boy Goose, and it is. This one is for Castle. His elite should be like a king. For the animation, whoever is the MVP for the other team was on their knees in front of King Castle. Castle kicks them back, and then you don't see them anymore, and he sits down on his mighty throne. So um, what he's trying to say is King Castle will be standing on the MVP screen while the MVP of the enemy, the opposing team, is kneeling down in front of King Castle. King Castle kicks uh, the MVP on the enemy team down, and then he sits into the throne. 
I think this is a fantastic idea. He actually included some artwork and I think this is very good. Once again, this is better than anything I ever would draw. So thank you so much for including the artwork and having such an interesting and uh, awesome idea. Thank you so much, Maxi. Now this next submission coming up from Cameron, uh, my boy Cam, uh, I really, really love this one. He says, Montang as Godzilla. His shield is a full black with scales on and his helmet is a dragon head and his outfit is full of scales and his gun has scales and his MVP animation is breathing fire. I mean, this goes without saying that this is very, very far-fetched. Like, like I would be surprised if Ubisoft ever adds anything like this, but this is a such a interesting idea. I always loved Godzilla and uh, I like Montaigne too. So a good crossover, Montaigne and Godzilla. I think if any operator in Siege were to be Godzilla, it would be Montaigne. So thank you so much, Cam. I wish you would have drawn something up because that would have been really, really cool. Next submission comes from Laughs and Ginger, and it is the Gridlock Elite as a firefighter or maybe a singed skin. He had it in a couple of submissions. He says Oryx is a statue, and I'll put up a little picture of what he meant by Oryx as a statue. But then down here, I really like this part. He says Montaigne Elite as a wasteland style skin with a shield as an old car door. I think that's like super cool. So if Montaigne is like, you know, like a bare bones, like post-apocalyptic vibe and his shield is like a broken car door that would be amazing and then he ends off this sweet submission saying finca elite as a researcher or maybe a hospital patient i like that a lot because she was included in an operation outbreak where she did have to do like a lot of like um you know rescuing with all the infected patients back in operation outbreak so i think this was fit very well with her vibe and i appreciate your uh submission thank you very much okay so this next submission from caesar would get literally every single person in siege simping for cali and he says this should be cali's elite i know siege isn't a game like fortnite but this wouldn't be a bad idea and then he goes on to say that the mvp animation could be her like laying down or crouching and then shooting the camera and then like money falling all over the place so i really do like this idea because it is a little provocative and i would think this would sell a lot so if ubisoft wants to make money uh put this as an elite skin trust me so this next submission from mr kraken is pretty interesting because he says for a mozzie elite skin a tron legacy bike type thing because in his reveal video, he rode a motorcycle. Mozzie, he would look like like someone in the Tron movies. And then his elite skin animation would be him riding around on like the Tron legacy bike. Super cool. So I can't tell if Stims was trolling me, but he says, this is clearly the best new Jaeger elite skin. It shows all of his scars and signature drink. He has scars because all of the nerf and I really wish he had his face showing. So <laughs> he did put together just the sickest image I've ever seen. So if I'm, if I can look at this, right, that is definitely Dwayne, the rock Johnson. I don't know who's that face is. If someone could comment down below whose face that is. I would really appreciate that. Look at all the scars and bullet holes from all the nerfs that Ubisoft has done to him. We got Jaeger down here at the bottom. We got the Shrek, Mike Lasowski. Uh, I don't know if that's his pet, but <laughs> this is, I, I think you're trolling me, Stims. You are 100% trolling me, aren't you? So probably my favorite submission comes from Red216, a really good buddy of mine. And he's got an alternate, like a futuristic sci-fi elite skin. And it's super, super cool. Dude, this drawing is freaking amazing. I don't think I could ever do anything like this. He says that this is Metal Gear Rising inspired and the dog would probably be the closest thing to his yokai, but not exactly his yokai drone. So this next submission comes from Ben Does Draws and it is a, um, a bachelor warden or a very young warden. And it's kind of hard to see the image. Drawing's really good. I really do like the drawing. Put a lot of design into the drawing. But what I'm getting from the MVP animation, he says a flashbang goes off and no one can see anything. And all of a sudden, a warden hands this guy some glasses and then he can finally see again. Um, I really do like the drawing, dude. Thank you so much. Next submission comes from Dimus, and it is Maverick Top Gun Elite Skin. The animation would be him vertically landing his F-35 while the Top Gun Anthem plays. <laughs> and then he hops out of the F-35 and makes a writing with fire in the air that says great balls of fire, similar to Thermite's burning hands. So Maverick seems like the only person in Siege that could vertically land an F-35. And I actually got a couple Maverick Top Gun Elite Skin ideas. So I'm pretty sure that this is something the community really wants. Next submission comes from Carson K. Dial and he says, make montaigne a gonk droid if you don't know what a gonk droid is here's a picture of it they're from star wars and they're pretty much just a meme droid um the star wars community loves gonk droids so if any star wars fans also plays rainbow six siege i guarantee this elite skin would be bought next submission comes from tenya yita and he says cod crossover 
Captain Price Thatcher. That would be amazing. I feel like Captain Price and Thatcher are literally the same exact person. So really good idea. Now I'm not going to break my promise. I did say at the very beginning of the video that I would like to uh, show you guys my submissions for Elite Skin Ideas. And I wanted to make a Rainbow Six Siege and Mario crossover. So I'm going to think of a Mario Maestro. So it's going to be Maestro like dressed up as Mario and he's got like the mustache and he's got the M on his hat. He literally looks like Mario. And then his um his evil eyes could be like either little mushrooms that Mario gets bigger on or little Goombas or the like the little turtles. But probably I think the mushrooms would be the best one. And then the next thing I want to do for Mario theme is I want to make Blitz Bowser's. I think that would be hilarious if blitz was running at you but he looked like exactly like bowser well that's all i got for you if this video does really well again then i might make a third video to this series if you want to see that hit the like button and make sure to comment down below or send me instagram messages uh with your artwork included of some elite skin ideas that you would love to be featured in the next video make sure to leave a like and subscribe with notifications if you're new now with all that being said Jeppy out.